Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between chemical and electrochemical machining. As the name suggests, chemical machining employs an appropriate chemical solution to etch away material from work surface. Such chemical solution is called etchant and is highly corrosive. No separate cutting tool, shape tool or similar device is used here. On the other hand, in electrochemical machining, material is removed by ionic dissolution but under the assistance of electrochemical reaction. No corrosive agent is used here, instead, a suitable electrolyte is employed. So, let's look into the basic differences between chemical and electrochemical machining in a tabular form. Difference number 1, as the name suggests, Chemical machining is one chemical energy based non traditional machining process, whereas, electrochemical machining is one electrical energy based non traditional machining process. Number 2 In chemical machining, material is removed in ionic form due to controlled dissolution by chemical etchant. Etchant slowly dissolves metal to realize machining, whereas, in electrochemical machining also material is removed in ionic form but due to controlled electrochemical dissolution of work metal. Number 3, chemical machining is independent of electrical conductivity of workpiece metal. So it can be applied for conductive and non-conductive materials, whereas, in electrochemical machining, the workpiece must be electrically conductive as it is used as anode of the electrolytic cell. Number 4, in chemical machining, no additional electrode is necessary as the chemical reaction takes place between etchant and workpiece, whereas, in electrochemical machining, an electrode having curvature according to intended shape is absolutely required to complete the electrical circuit. Number 5. No power supply is necessary as a process is not related to electrical energy in chemical machining, whereas, in electrochemical machining, 1 DC power supply is required to maintain desired potential difference between cathode, tool electrode, and anode, workpiece. Number 6. In chemical machining, suitable etchant, based on workpiece material, is employed. Typical etchant include ferric chloride, copper chloride, ferric nitrate, nitric acid and hydrogen fluoride, whereas, instead of etchant, appropriate electrolyte is applied in electrochemical machining. Typical electrolyte includes sodium chloride and sodium nitrate. Number 7. In chemical machining, the rate of chemical dissolution is very hard to control. Once the process is initiated, the rate cannot be controlled accurately anymore, whereas, in electrochemical machining, rate of electrochemical dissolution can be controlled during machining simply by adjusting inter-electrode gap and current. Number 8. Chemical machining cannot inherently control the area from where material should be dissolved. Material is removed wherever the work surface is exposed to etchant. Thus mask can be separately applied to control exposure, whereas, electrochemical machining process can inherently control the area from where material should be removed. Dissolution occurs only from the areas where tool is in close proximity. And, difference number 9, in chemical machining. Chemical etchants are highly corrosive and thus the process possesses a risk to the operator, whereas, in electrochemical machining, the etchant is not such corrosive and thus the process is somewhat risk-free towards operator.